Hey YouTube, Derek here with another awesome video. <clears throat> hey YouTube. Hey YouTube. Hey YouTube, Derek here with another awesome unboxing video. In this video, we're gonna do some Transformer shit. Yeah. Now, I recently just hit 600 subscribers, and it's really awesome. That was kind of my goal for this year. I think I started out the year in the early 500s, and uh, I've steadily been climbing. I have that X-Men video, the Wolverine vs. Hulk, that has really blown up for my channel. It uh, probably has the highest grossing view count over the shortest period of time in the history of my channel. So it's been really, really good, and I, I did put a lot of time into that, and I, I'm happy that that paid off. Uh, and uh, link, trying to send links to that to other videos, other stop motions, and sp sort of spread the, uh, the, the wealth, if you will, so that other videos can, can, can get those views as well. So uh, make sure to check out those other videos. I'm obviously going to link shit somewhere here, but in any case, just wanted to thank those new subscribers, and um, I think I'm couple above maybe about six ten right now and you guys are you're really making me feel awesome with all this 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 shit man so just keep on viewing and and th there's some more awesome crap on the way so just don't give up uh, I know sometimes uh, you know I go maybe a couple weeks without posting but that's just because I'm hard at work stop-motion animation is a long process it's tedious but despite that I love it because th the product is always just so 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 good for me like I, I enjoy watching them as well and and obviously it's cool to see these toys in action so speaking of toys I for a long time had actually put thought that I had put this behind me but I I, I couldn't help myself I, I'm fucking I'm ugh, I'm back on the Transformers train see these guys are awesome uh, look at this star screen like there's like this sort of G1 aspect to it, and 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 then this this Megatron. It's got this fucking crazy cannon, and it's the tank one instead of the gun one. So it you know it makes a little bit more sense. It's and let's check out this big sword. Anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself here. These Transformers are probably some of the coolest ones I've ever seen outside of the masterpiece ones. But I don't got that kind of dough to be honest. So uh, these are for me the next best thing and. They're really cool because they, they have the, like all this sort of battle paint, which I've never really seen before. It, it kind of adds a sort of realism to them. And then a lot of their their, their transformation modes are, are from their kind of like Cybertron, Cybertron sort of counterpart, which kind of gives them this cool sort of like old Star Wars look to the to the spaceships and and to the, the tanks and the cars. And I, I really, really dug it. I like, like if anybody knows, and if you've heard, if, if you've actually gone on my channel and go to the lower part, you can see that I have like this, um, my background music, and that's pretty much what I'm playing while I'm animating and while I'm just eating food, while, while I'm drawing, while I'm doing anything. And that's just my life's background music. And a lot of that is this uh, retro, cool synth wave, funk, retro future funk wave, and vapor wave, of course, for your stoners out there. It's just like, I, I just dig this, this is sound. It's, it's some, somehow far flung in the future, yet. It's 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 thrown right in the past, and it's this fusion of like future and present, and it just makes me, I don't know, it it does something to my mind. So uh, that's kind of how I feel about these new Transformers. Is they're just they're in this perfect pocket, like like that music. So I do actually have one figure here. So this is still officially an unboxing. Uh, we've got Soundwave here. We're gonna just open him real quick. Uh, I don't want this to be a super long video, just because. Yeah, I, I mean, who wants to listen to a guy talk for hours on end on YouTube? Uh, let's fucking get into this. I guess you're expecting me to headbutt the camera like I always do, but um, I don't think I'll do it this time. All right, so we're gonna take a good look at these bad boys. Um, just uh, first, before I uh, begin here, I just want to sort of recognize these awesome tie-dye pillows I have here, courtesy of my beautiful fiance. 
Yeah, she made these in uh, camp. She does a little volunteering at uh, Camp Good Times. She uh, had experienced, unfortunately, uh, cancer as a kid, and this camp is basically a place for kids who can go if they have cancer or, or uh, like siblings of these kids and have like an amazing summer vacation and and there's all these activities and stuff and it's just a really beautiful time and for her she tells me it's some of her happiest memories as a as a kid so it, it, she, anyways i don't want to get all savvy here but she's she's made me these lovely pillows and i'm just really grateful to have them okay now let's get to this unboxing video i got these guys on the other side to show them off uh, this big ass sword i'm just gonna chuck we got our handy dandy cutting tool here. I got courtesy of a friend of mine. Uh, he's uh, uh, he's a good buddy. His name's Nick. He's cool. He's been on my other channel, uh, Token Talk, with uh, Tanner and Derek. Not as a guest, but he, he's done some behind the scenes help, like filming, and potentially may have some future stuff in mind. I'm gonna cut that with that. Close that. Always make sure to close your cutter, kids, so you don't fucking slice open your vein arteries. And yeah, um, I don't really want to admire the box. Like this isn't. I'm not super advanced. Like this isn't really a review. It's more just uh, you guys get to experience the joy of opening a cool new figure. And as any kid or big kid knows, it's 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 uh, just an amazing awesome experience for to, to have them for the first time yeah um folks, let's get rid of those get rid of those holy crap okay here we go sound wave um which looks like we need the handy dandy tool again cut him out of his uh rubbery uh restraints here um that one's already cut which is handy i guess um, uh, it might just come right out. Ooh, man, I just I already kind of like the feel of this figure, and he's not even out of the package. Close that up, throw that away. Oh, get the... There we go, okay. Down. All right, we'll take a look at these weapons in a sec here. But, okay, he's out of the package, and he is... Oh, magnificent. Oh, this is... Oh, man, it's crazy how much they, like, captured the original, like, G1 versions of them and it still made them like updated and like the toys themselves like just outpace the original toys by like fucking so much but like they, they just have such an accuracy to the show and they're just they look really good the paint's really awesome like I'm just like astounded at what what they can do and I, I'm actually like I'm happy that I, I took a break from Transformers and, and waited till Till they came out with figurines like these uh so good on you hasbro take more of my money please <laughs> but uh this is really cool like he's got this little cassette spot i guess but um it doesn't come with any of those cassettes he's supposed to play which is a little bit of a bummer but i guess they got to make their extra buck somehow you know the you know here in canada these figures run you about 40 bucks for a leader class i was lucky <laughs> because there was a 20% discount going on at Toys R Us here in Canada and uh, I managed to get it for uh, for 35 which is still quite expensive. I mean, average Marvel Legend cost me about 30 bucks uh, plus tax, so it, it runs around the same time, or same same amount, but um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, I guess you pay for quality though. These, this guy looks really freaking cool, and damn it does he look cool next to these other guys. I'm not going to transform him because, well, I, maybe I, I will transform him, but uh, I'm not going to do it on camera because it'll take too, way too long and I, I need to focus on <laughs> these things. I actually forgot how, uh, how like, kind of difficult it can be to transform these fucking guys. Like, it, it is like a little bit of a jigsaw puzzle and um, it's like a really smart toy, you know? Like, it, it gets kids to, like, sort of problem solve and think, you know, like it's it's not like it's not like you're you know pull it out of the package and play like it, well i mean it's kind of like that but like you, you got to figure some shit out right um okay i hope that is all right i guess that's loose it's not very awesome but whatever um cool uh just gonna end the video <laughs> uh thanks for watching this has been awesome 
Oh yeah, and one more thing. Um, I'm currently working on an uh, X-Men stop motion and an Avengers stop motion. And I don't know it's it, how many people are going to watch this, and, and I, I, I kind of want to post one eventually, with or without the answers. But uh, if you guys are interested in leaving a comment and, and sort of letting me know which one you, you, you would prefer to see first, then, uh, then I'll, I'll make sure to focus more effort on that, and then that one will come out first, and then the other one will eventually come out. But uh, yeah, so um, I guess the question is, do you like the X-Men, or do you like the Avengers more? Leave a comment. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, thanks for watching. It's uh, been a real pleasure having you guys stop by the Wind Whirler channel. This was a really cool little unboxing we did here. I mean, if you think it wasn't, then uh, yeah, make sure to comment. Uh, let me know how shit it was. And um, if uh, you like it, uh, you know, give it a thumbs up. Uh, as they say, it's the old catchphrase on good old YouTube. And um, if you really, really like it, subscribe!